Hi, welcome to another Tech Tuesday. It's a Micro Tech Tech Tuesday. Paul here, and I'm going to show you the quickest little tip today. Yes, I'm going to dive in. I'm going to upgrade my RB5009 over there in the closet. Uh, equipment cupboard. Closet. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go forth into the release candidate world. I was about to hit the button, upload, download, all the rest, reboot, and I realized, oh yes, yes, I did get a very helpful comment uh, a few days ago saying, yeah, go for it. Just back up first. How am I going to back up? Let me show you today how easy it is using WebFig. Why do I use WebFig instead of Winbox and other ways? Well, because WebFig, it's just so easy and I'm lazy. So here I am logged in via the web browser into my RB5009 and I couldn't find it that easily where to actually do a backup but here it is uh, it's not in system go down to files there it is the buttons right there no literally you just press backup I'm gonna give it a name I'll call it well what am I up to uh, 705 backup and I don't need to encrypt it I won't. And hit backup. Creates a file. Quite small. Uh, I can download. Save it on my local PC here. There's the file. It's done. Backup is done. Now, as you can see, if I would upload the file back, oh, I'll show you. Look, download that. Choose a file. Where's the one I just did? Uh, there it is and voila upload i click on it and i could hit restore just like that and this will restore the configuration that is currently in place on my router so there's no point to do that but now you know how to back up and restore so next time you'll be able to come back and try with me updating to release candidate i don't care what version just the latest version i am trying to fix that smb share thing that's the reason I'm diving into the unknown down the rabbit hole. Subscribe, and I'll see you next Tuesday for another Tech Tuesday Micro Tech Tip. Hopefully that was helpful. Bye. That was really easy.